Hello everyone and welcome back to another snail mail episode and we have a lot of snail mail this week which is really amazing. I was pretty sick last week so I wasn't able to do a snail mail episode and things from my P.O. box just kept coming and kept coming and now they're this big beautiful pile and I'm not sure if we're going to get through all of it today. I might have to go a little bit faster than usual. I think I say that every week and if we don't have enough time we'll have two parts and so we'll have one uh, tomorrow as well. So really quickly you guys from the bottom of my heart it is always really humbling to get any mail at all and especially when like you're like is that really a package oh my gosh because that's really wow <laughs> and I really love how almost everything on my desk is now decorations and artwork and seashells and stuffed animals and homemade little like crafts that people have sent in and my four leaf clover that I have now too and I just want you guys to know that it means so much to know that our adventures inspire you guys enough to be able to want to send stuff. Like that's a really big deal. And I am so grateful from the bottom of my heart. And just because we get this question every single week, if you guys are curious about like, how does the PO box work? You can find everything out that you need to know down in the video description below. So I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and dive right in because I have put this off for too long from feeling sick last week. And I know many of you guys are waiting for this. So let's go ahead and we're gonna start with this letter that I accidentally kind of already opened, but I didn't peek inside just yet because it was really cute and I really like it because it has lines all over it and it has a little Minecraft figure of me saying, there's so much to do in the zoo. And then there has this amazing story on the back, you guys. Oh my gosh. Uh, it says Lily Tate, Sunflower, Aster Seed, Siri, uh, pig, Pigment Fern, and so many more. Hello, so quick story. It's about 8.20 a.m. and I was working so hard on Minecraft Siri and Minecraft Tate and getting everything all nice and green and I realized it's upside down. 10 out of 10, Natalie. Also, I accidentally closed the envelope before anything was in it. So sorry, I was excited. And I thought that was adorable. So apparently this is from Natalie. Thank you, Natalie. And she was so excited. She apparently sealed the envelope and then had to reopen it. Uh, after drawing all of this beautiful artwork on it because she got really really excited so let's go ahead and see what she has sent our way I'm really excited it's always so fun to like open these up and be like what's somebody's favorite series what is the thing that inspires them the most what's the thing that makes them super excited and now we get to find out and I think it might have to do with zoo crafting because of the Minecraft and let's see what this is all right here we've got two letters so let's see what they say all right oh look at this oh there's no PS okay let's see and thank you for very much for putting that I can read on camera. That always really helps. Dear Siri, hi, my name is Natalie and I live in Maryland. I have been watching your channel ever since I stumbled on your Luna Moon Pack Wolf Quest series about a year ago. It was one of my favorite series for a while until I found Horse Haven, Zoo Crafting, Spore, Slime Rancher, Warrior Cats, and much, much more. My favorite thing about this channel and the loving and caring community is the positivity. And, ah, uh, Siri, you can't even make it past the first letter without tearing up. Oh my gosh, because that's the thing I love too. That... You guys, we come from so many different backgrounds and we come from so many different interests and and we just offer so many different things and we're interested in so many different things. But just because we all like different things, like we have our cat people and our dog people or people who really love dinosaurs or people who really love horses, doesn't mean we all don't get along. It doesn't mean we all can't just like contribute to that positivity. So Natalie, thank you so much. I can ramble on about that for a very long time, but you guys know how much it means to me that we're all so kind to each other and that you realize that this is a whole big giant community of people who are not just like my subscribers, they're people who care about the things that you care about too. Our natural world, the stories, the adventures, just staying curious, being able to really appreciate plants and animals. And that's really amazing. And I'm going to start babbling too long if I don't keep moving, oh my goodness. All right, everyone in the comments, are so supportive of you and everyone else in the comments. My favorite videos are when you sit down and do a community update vlog and babble. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Those are the ones I'm always the most nervous about because I'm like, oh, here I am. See, I was just doing it a second ago too, just babbling and oh my gosh. But I get the most inspiration out of the babbling because you're always so positive and you tell us to be ourselves and I love that so much. P.S. Since I stumbled upon Wolf Quest first and I'm not the best at drawing, I thought it would be cool to give you facts about wolves. That's really fun. Oh, thank you so much, Natalie. And I can't tell you just how happy that makes my heart to know that the positivity in our community is something that you too have noticed. 
All right, so we've got some awesome, super awesome fun facts about wolves and other animals too. Wolves run on their toes, which helps them stop and turn quickly to prevent their paw pads from wearing down. Wolves have about 200 million scent cells. Humans only have about 5 million. Cool, huh? A wolf's pup eyes are blue at birth and turn yellow at eight months old. A hungry wolf can eat about 20 pounds of food. <laughs> that's like the size of a small toddler, oh my goodness. For humans, that's 100 hamburgers. <laughs> but not for Siri, maybe veggie burgers. That's adorable, thank you so much. Oh my gosh. In the 1600s, Ireland was called Wolfland because it has so many wolves. Wolf hunting was a popular sport among the nobility who used the Irish wolfhounds to outrun and kill wolves. Recent scientific, er, recent scientific studies suggest labeling a wolf alpha or omega is misleading because alpha wolves are simply parent wolves, which is true. And I try to re remind people of that in the Wolf Quest series, that really alpha and omega and all of those things, they don't really exist. That's kind of like a bad scientific study that got really popular. It's breathing pairs. And I'm so glad to know that you guys are starting to learn those things too. And now everybody watching knows that too. So yes, more fun facts. Thank you so much, Natalie. I love sharing these facts. I love knowing that you came in from our Wolf Quest series and that you love so many things, including the positivity of the community. Because I think that is what really, really more than anything else matters the most. All right, so I'm going to keep moving. I have a feeling we're going to have to do multiple episodes. I'm just grabbing at random, too. So, ooh, what's this? Flip over. Wow, have a rose. You deserve it. Please read on camera. Look at the pretty art. And it's from Canada, so they put something. They put a sticker on here. But look at this. This is so pretty. And there's a cute little, there's a cute little, look at the little penguin stamp. That's adorable. All right. I'm going to open this really carefully because I don't want to tear that beautiful rose. Oh, my gosh. And let's see, who is this from? From K, from K in Canada. We're in Canada. Ontar Ontari Ontario, Ontario. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. <laughs> Trust me, I get the states, the United States mixed up too. All right, so look at this. What do we have here? Let's go, ooh, what's this? What are you? Oh, look at that little fish. It's a grass carp. Look at that sticker. Oh, Chips is going to love it. It is a, a tattoo, so it's not a sticker. It's one of those temporary tattoos. Chips is going to think that's awesome because he loves big dumb fish. And I quote, he says big dumb fish a lot. All right, so let's see what we have here. We've got Slime Rancher. Here's some Slime Rancher art. Look at that. My puddle slime babies. I'm so glad they updated and we have been able to enjoy Indigo Quarry lately. The UHC. Sorry, my friend. Run. I lied about the cookies. <laughs> I love the UHC. I love this. The UHC was one of the most unique and special events I have ever managed to do this year for sure in YouTube ever. And I'm really, really glad that it went so well. Ooh, the Tate and Tackle Silver Carp. What? And Silverfish. Wow, look at that, you guys. That is some fancy fish drawing action here, okay? Oh my goodness. That is totally impressive. All right, let's see if we have any more information about this mystery person. <gasps> it's heartbeats. It's heartbeats, and it's the little cute berries. Heart and the giraffe and the lily pad. Oh, you know all of my favorite things, Kay. You know all of my favorite things. Hi, Siri. I hope you enjoy my fan art, and I want you to know that I love your work, and I've been with you for three years. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? We've been together for three years. Oh, my gosh. When I am sad and um, uh, with you for three years watching your videos. When I am sad and I watch your videos and you make me so, so happy, all your series are amazing, and, you make, and uh, I made you some thoughtful gifts. I made drawings of my favorite series. I hope you like them. Fan art list. The Zoo Crafting Silver Carp, Silverfish, and Carrotfish Tank. You Eat She, Shelter 2 pause which is amazing warrior cat sims 3 challenge really glad you guys are enjoying that slime rancher coloring page so there's a coloring page for me that's adorable i'll have to sit down and relax with that sometime all right and so here we go oh it's shelter too so it's at the end um so spoilers for just a second mute this if you haven't seen the shelter 2 playlist yet but at the end when our little kitten is back with the mom and the guardian bear is coming down from the sky to say goodbye Oh, that's really precious. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at Moss Leaf. Look at those eyes, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. I love it. Like jewel tones. That's fantastic. I love that. Kay, thank you so much. I am so glad that we have been together for so long. I am so glad that you have enjoyed so many of our series. And it means so much to look at this and to be able to see the different things that you really care about. And wow, the emerald look on those eyes. Very beautiful on Moss Leaf right here. 
Oh, that's what I love about doing this, is just seeing what you guys really love the most from our adventures together. Oh my gosh. All right, I've got to keep moving. Oh my goodness, or else I'll be here forever. Canada forever! Speaking of forever, it says Canada forever from Kara. And I'm not sure what the MB stands for. Forgive me, I'm still learning about um, all the different places in the world from like geographical names. If you want to quote like animals, ooh, what's this? Ooh, is this a Canadian coin? Look at you, a Canadian dollar. Oh my gosh, ooh, ooh, okay, I see some stuff over here. Let me put this right over here. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this. Oh, and it even has a popsicle stick to make it like stable. This is a beautiful little painting. Oh, I'm gonna have to put that up. That's gonna go up somewhere. Maybe I'll like tape it to the side there or put it on my wall. I need an office so I can put all of your guys' amazing stuff up. Oh my goodness, and I see this, and then let me see. Letter, feel free to read on camera. Um, let me see, feel free to read on camera, there we go. From uh, Manitoba, Canada, there we go, thank you so much. All right, and then let me put this right here. Dear Siri, my name is Kara, pronounced Kara, pardon me. Uh, or as you know me on YouTube, Kit Kat 3, or 39. <laughs> when you have numbers, just like saying you flip numbers around, I apologize, Kit Kat. All right, so Kara. I've been waiting to send you a letter for a very long time now, and it feels absolutely amazing knowing that in a few weeks' time you may be reading this. Anyway, to the more interesting things. Your channel has been a major part of my everyday life since you had just 9,000 subscribers, and now you're at over 50,000. It's insane how big your channel is at this point. I'm sure you're very proud of all your achievements up to this point. I definitely am. Everything in the natural world is much, much more clear for me now, and I, and I thank you for that. I am currently working towards becoming an author who illustrates their own covers. Writing always makes me happy, so why not include art too? I'm very passionate about this, and I put some of my work in here in this note. Oh, I can't wait to see! The short story is one of my best, so it doesn't matter too terribly much if you want to read it. Some of the upcoming stories I'm planning involve more of a deserted island theme. Thanks to you, I know some species of plants and animals the character will encounter. That is so cool! Oh my gosh! <laughs> see what I mean? Just because... You're like, you have no idea how you're going to inspire somebody, even somebody with totally different interests. So I actually took creative writing for a long time, wanted to be an author for a long time, then biology just wooed me back. But even somebody with completely different interests can be inspired by the things you do. So never give up, you guys. Oh my goodness. Ah, I'll need to end this letter soon, but first a few more things. I really look up to you in many ways. Your videos make sure that I have something to look forward to, even on the most boring days. I'm not entirely sure if you accept Canadian money, but she has include, included money for the NPC, and I definitely need to add lots of those guys in. I, I've got a new organized plan for working on that, so don't you guys worry. I'm going to be not only catching up on that, but like doing extra episodes to fix that too. So that's very exciting. You're great. Seriously, thanks for everything. Huh? Seriously. I know, right? Is it awesome? <laughs> I hope this message was somewhat enjoyable for you and everything arrived okay. I hope you're having a nice day. With love from Canada, Kara. Uh, P.S. I really recommend an online, online game called Horse. It isn't really something for videos, but it's something to relax with. And my username is Cherry2666. See you then. Or see you there. Uh, oh, yay! And wonderful! Thank you so much for including your email. That's very helpful with NPCs. And then uh, let's just gently put this over here so we can keep Kara's stuff together. And I'm going... Oh my gosh! Kara, you thought of everything! Even what your NPC can say. This little... Ooh, there we go. <laughs> wow! That is so cool! There's professions, outfit ideas, trade ideas. This is awesome! Look at that detail! Oh, that's going to be fun. Favorite food is frozen yogurt. Favorite color, navy blue. This is awesome. Thank you. This will actually really help me with adding things in quite a bit faster. So hopefully I can get that done very soon too. All right, we've got some artwork right here. Wow. Yeah, your art is gorgeous. Oh, look at that. You're going to have no problem in making sure that you can have whatever cover art you want properly for your stories. Wow, those flowers. I'm going to have to make sure that those are tucked very carefully into the scrapbook so that they are they are showing. And I am going to be reading your story on my own in just a little bit, just because there's a little bit of a pile. But thank you so much for sharing it with me, Kara. I am really looking forward to that because just seeing somebody else's creativity inspires my creativity and it just continues that awesome cycle. All right, so we actually have this little package that's kind of sitting right here. Should I open it now? Um, okay, I'm going to open these two and then I'm going to open this package. All right. 
So we've got <gasps> Bulbasaur and Charmander. They're so cute. And this is from Tiana, I believe. Yeah, Tiana. Tiana in New York. And let me just cover it. Look at the Bulbasaur. That's one of the cutest little types of Bulbasaurs I've ever seen. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. All right. So let's see. Yeah, Tiana. Let's gently open this up and see what's inside. Dun, dun, dun. And what do we have in here? Dun, dun, dun. A beautiful letter. Dun, dun, dun. Dear Siri, hi, it's me again, the one who drew Mossleaf in the Pokemon. Ah, yes! Happy belated birthday. Uh, I'm requesting you name your two ravens, Oreo and Shadow, in the zoo crafting series. Oreo and Shadow are the two real ravens that caw at me and perform spectacular air shows for me. I love them dearly. Oreo is a female and Shadow is a male. It would be great if you could have them as residents of Zudestia Zoo. Thanks, Tiana. That would be really cool. Where are you that, like, ravens are performing the aerial displays for you? Are they, like, wild ravens? Are they tamed ravens? I just saw a woman on, like, Tumblr the other day who has, like, tamed ravens that do all sorts of things with their... So thank you, Tiana. I will add that to my list of names. I have recently started reorganizing how I organize my notes. They're not just a giant pile. They're not just a pile of like random scraps of paper anymore. They're actually organized on the computer so I can actually try to keep up with things. So I hopefully will be able to keep track of the name suggestions that people send in through the mail too. So I'm really looking forward to that. And that reminds me I need to go check on what the ravens are up to in zoo crafting. Please open on camera from H. Morrison. And I think is that in Oregon? Or Ohio? Let's see what's going on in here. All right, this is so exciting. I love this. Let's see what we've got hiding in here today. Amazing, it's like, ooh, pick your card, pick your card, you guys. All right, so let's see. I think this is the letter. I like opening the letters first because it's really fun to know who they're from. All right, let's see. Hi Siri, I hope you enjoy the ideas that I have for your series. I sent a donation for a tree and I hope the tree is put in a garden in front of the wyvern exhibit when you make one. Ooh, that would actually help me mark like where to put the wyvern exhibit, so smart thinking there. I really need to plant a lot of trees too. Like I said, they're not just a pile of cluttered notes anymore. I'm being more organized, you guys. Don't be afraid to email me if I haven't put your stuff in yet, because I'm really bad about that. Ugh. I really enjoy your new warrior series. It's so cool, but I was wondering how you install the mod that lets you have more than six cats. Bye for now, sincerely, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. And yes, so the six cats mod is called the Inras mod, and I plan on actually making a video on how to install it and how to use it when I uh, have a little bit of time this weekend, if possible. If not this weekend, hopefully next weekend for sure, because that's like every single day I get dozens and dozens of questions asking that. So I wanna make a video to explain to you guys how I installed it. Um, I'm not sure, like it's called NRAS, N-R-A-S-S, -S, and if you look it up, it's pretty easy. You just put it into your mods folder. And I'm not really good with Sims 3 mods, but I figure I'll give it a go so you guys will have somewhere that you can learn about them uh, at least. And let's see what Hannah has put over here. So yeah, keep an eye out for that video or just look up NRAS using Google. It's very, it was very, very easy. Uh, let's see. Siri, Siri, in the Warrior Cat series, uh, could you make a cat that Willow owns but goes along with, uh, but goes along, and if you give her a plant, she can give you some mouse bile to get rid of fleas. Also, can you name her Blossom? Oh, this is a really cute picture of Blossom. Look at that. And we have a lot, a lot, a lot. And again, this is another thing I get about a dozen or so of every day through email, Twitter, Facebook, uh, mail, everything, of requests to add original cats in. And so what I do is I have a pool that I draw from when I'm getting ready to make some new characters. I can't add every original cat in, unfortunately. Forgive me, Hannah, because there's literally dozens requested every day. I'm not even joking about that. But I do have them in a big pool. I, again, I'm being more organized. And I pull from that when I am going to be adding more cats into the world that could potentially run into our cats in the series. So keep an eye out. You might see Blossom sometime. All right. And then this, ooh, let's see. Tree, can you use stained glass to make... Ooh, the crystals, what? This is so pretty. What? Hang on a second, you guys. We've got to look at this real quick. I'm gonna tuck this right here. Wow! Siri, could you use a giant oak uh, for the twisted trunk used to vincing? The owl in the tree is the ancient guardian of the tree. Hey Siri, <laughs> I hope you can put this tree in a, star in a starry garden outside a wyvern exhibit. Look at how pretty, you guys. Isn't that glorious? That's going to give me lots and lots of ideas for trees. That's going to be fantastic. Thank you so much, Hannah. I can't wait to add that in. That'll be something really relaxing. Oh, and the little owl is called Willie or Millie or Winky. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you let me know, Hannah, what the owl is properly named because I think that would be beautiful to add in. And that actually gives me some ideas 
on, see when you guys do these kinds of things like plant trees, it gives me some ideas on how to build what we're going to be building into the world. The cloud phoenix tree actually came from a similar idea. So keep an eye out for that. All right, so let's go ahead and open up a couple of the packages really, whoa, quickly. Hibiscus, what? I didn't even see that until just now. That's beautiful. And then it's forget-me-nots on the front too. And this is from Mr. Joe uh, in Oklahoma. And there's even, I'm pretty sure that's either a pansy or like one of those trumpet flowers. No, I know that flower. I can't remember its name, petunia maybe. Um, wow, purple flowers everywhere, beautiful, all right. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Just already, I'm like, yeah, there's enough flowers to keep me very happy and interested. And I'm gonna very carefully open it so we can see what's hiding inside, you guys. What do you think is in here? This, it's pretty solid, too. So I'm gonna try to cut it so I don't accidentally, accidentally get the hibiscus. And let's do this, 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 this. There we go. All right, all right, let's peek inside. And, oh my gosh, you guys, you guys. Look at this little bird. Oh, it's a little green bird. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Oh, you can come sit here and be my little buddy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Is there a letter in here? I think there's like, wow, there's there's a whole envelope in here. Oh my gosh, there was an envelope in my envelope. Oh, wow. All right, so here we go. Siri, more gorgeous hibiscus flowers on the front. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what's inside you guys. This is this is amazing. Hi little buddy. What am I gonna name you? You're gonna have to come join my, my flock of many amazing creatures people have sent in. All right, there's quite a bit in here, so let's gently wiggle it open. And see what's inside. All right, here we go. It, again, oh my gosh, look, they're even like individually sealed. Again, it's like pick your card, pick your card. All right, let's start with this one. You can read this on camera. Hi Siri, my name is Clara. I live on a 10 acre farm. We have one beef cow named Beefus. That's actually pretty hilarious. Says the vegan, that's actually pretty darn hilarious. Tons of chickens and I have two goats named Lavender and Rose, which are adorable names by the way. We also have three dogs, five of the, and five of the 10 acres are wooded. We also have a nice sized pond with tons of fish in it. My brother Jack loves to go fishing in it. Jack was the one who introduced me to you and I've been watching you for about a month now. You make me appreciate nature much more. You inspire me in so many ways. You make everybody happy when you smile. And when I'm down, I count on you to cheer me up. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, thank you, Clara. <laughs> I love your zoo crafting series the most, but my second has to be Twin Bark Tales. It is very old, but I still love the idea of it. I plan on sending you more mail. Do you think you can write me back? Until then, thank you for reading this. I hope you like the drawings. Sincerely, Clara. And look what she did sincerely. That's adorable. Oh my gosh, Clara, thank you so much. I am so glad you are a member of our community and that you and our, your brother have enjoyed the adventures. And a 10 acre farm is pretty darn cool. So I really hope you're able to like just look around and find discoveries that really you're gonna see that not a lot of other people do because you live where you do and your goats sound adorable. Oh my gosh, all right. So let's go ahead and look at her beautiful artwork. <laughs> I love your 101 Dalmatian series. Oh my goodness. Oh, we don't get much 101 Dalmatian fan art, so that is perfect. I'm going to have to find the other bits I have in one of our scrapbooks and put that over there with them. Oh my gosh, Clara, thank you. And let's, oh, my little buddy. I'm going to have to name this one. I'm going to have to name you something special, little bird. And then let's see. Oh, this is from this is from Jack. Dear Siri, I love your zoo crafting series. I love how you slip information into the videos. You've noticed, sir. I learn something new each day. You put so much effort into providing multiple videos each day, and I thank you for that. Keep up the amazing work. I thought you could have this, even though um, I thought you could have this, even though you presented it in episode forty-six. Sincerely, Jack. Oh, <laughs> that's the noodle noodle dance. I remember this. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. Oh my gosh, he sent me this like digitally ages ago. And I remember I made the, uh, I added it into the video. So that must have been episode 46 of season three that we put it into. And I have the original now. Jack, thank you. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, I, when we build the noodle doodle like noodle shack, I am going to have to make it so that this artwork is like on the wall so people can see the noodle doodle shack. Oh, that is so cool. All right, let me see. One slip down here. And then what do we have here? 
I think the Wellnut Center is so adorable. Can you name, can you maybe name a squirrel Frizzy? That is so cute. Look at that, Frizzy the squirrel. Oh, and the Wellnut Center, I'm so glad you guys like that. It was a lot of work to build, surprisingly, but it was a really fun little detailed build to just kind of smoosh down into a nice gardening area. And we have an amazing intern who's working there too. And here we go, some awesome ocean art. Just you guys wait, I'm gonna be visiting the North Carolina coast and going to the ocean pretty soon, so I have a feeling I'm gonna be very, very, very inspired to do some ocean exhibits. So thank you so much, Jack. Thank you so much, Clara. And this is an adorable little guy. I'm very happy to add him to the big family that we have up here. And I'm gonna open up this this envelope right here really quickly, and then that might be it for today's snail mail, because I kinda got swamped by snail mail, but we'll have another tomorrow. So let's see, do to do, do and this one, is from Ireland. So this is a big beautiful package and it's actually from Ireland and I picked it up just today so I'm really curious about what happens to be inside because there is a viewer I know of in Ireland and I'm wondering if this is that same very very artistic certain someone very gently. The handwriting looks a little familiar but woo. To Siri, my name is Abby. I am 10 years old. Oh hello! I live in, let's see, I live in Inglis, and I'm going to say that terribly wrong, in Ireland. I'm a big fan of your zoo crafting series. Sometimes I spend a little bit too much time watching because I enjoy it so much. The things I enjoy the most is the way you use lots of mods, where I only ha whereas I only have Minecraft PE, so I can't get mods. I also love the adventures you go on. You have thought so much about the animals. I really am a big fan, Siri. I can't wait for the upcoming adventures. Every day I check and check to see if you have a new video uploaded. I really appreciate the time you take for all your videos. Thank you guys so much. And especially after last week's update video, you guys know like how my health isn't always the best, but these kinds of messages and knowing what it means to you guys and how it inspires you, of course I'm going to give it my best. And it just makes me know that I, ha I should have no doubts about the path I've been taking. And I'm going to start tearing up again because Siri is sentimental just a little bit. And I just love you guys so much. And no, oh, don't do it, Siri. Don't do it. You can make it. I have to show you guys the beautiful drawing of Quill that she's put in here too. Deep breaths. Okay. Ahem. I really appreciate the time you take for all your videos. Hope you like the art, Abby. Uh, bye, Siri. Thanks for reading. And look at baby Quill. Oh my gosh, there's so many Quills. Look at little baby quill down here. So we have baby quill and then we've got, oh Abby, oh my gosh. Then we've got the quills. Look at them. Look at all of our squicken. Look at all our squicken. That's so cute. That's so cute. Me have tiny nose. Huh, where am I? Oh no, not more quills. This is so cute. I love it. Oh my gosh. And then Bluebell. It's our little girl Bluebell. So our little host daughter Bluebell, who is our little maid. Oh my goodness, I needed this so I can remember just why people, oh, new outfit. That's looking good, looking good right there. I like the leaf outfits, I might have to try out some new outfits. And then the most biggest chocolate bar ever, two chips, hope you enjoy it. love Siri. That's what chips would love for his birthday. <laughs> Fun fact, he loves chocolate for his birthday. Vegan chocolate, mind you. But yeah, that is amazing. I'm gonna have to show that to him. He's gonna really love that. He's gonna really love that. Wow, thank you guys so much. This is this is like rejuvenating to the soul and I really can't tell you how much it means to me, especially on the rougher days, to be able just to look at this. Like I said, open up all of the scrapbooks, look at all of them and just be like, our adventures are awesome, our community is amazing, and just so that you guys know that these people, it's not just like stuff for me, this is part of our community. This is the example that there are other people out there who can care about the things that you care about, who really are creative, they love stories, they love nature, and that you're not alone with the things that you love either. And and yeah, I'm just, ah, <laughs> I just love you guys. So thank you so much, and I will see you guys tomorrow for more snail mail, and I will try to work my way through the rest of the pile as quickly as possible so that I'm not leaving any of you guys waiting too long. And thank you so much, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And remember, stay curious, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>